Well, Bunsey's favourites reach their conclusion. And uh, shortly we'll be having the formal introductions for this fight. Before we get round to that stage, what do you make of it, Barry? We've uh, heard a lot in the studio about uh, the possibilities. I mean, I, I thought Stieglitz's performance last time out, I thought he was a revelation. He was phenomenal, wasn't he? After, you know, losing his title to Abraham and, and a lot of point to prove, he proved it in dramatic fashion. I'd be surprised if we get that sort of... I'd, I'd be surprised if we get an early stoppage, if a stoppage at all. I think Abraham is, is made of stern stuff and obviously with the swelling of the eye and he couldn't see... There was only one, only one conclusion for that to go. But I think he, if he could have carried on, he would have. Well, he showed just how much the guts that Abraham's got, hadn't he? Do you remember back in when was it, 2006, when he fought Miranda and yeah, he, he had that jaw. broken jaw wow. in the second round, I think, and he and he somehow got through that. Had to have a couple of pins put in his put in his chin, didn't he? There was a, there was a criminal prosecution or some talk <laughs> of it afterwards, wasn't there, for the <laughs> officials allowing the fight to be continued and not finishing. It, 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 it really, really makes me the steel, that man, to do that. I, I boxed eight rounds with a broken rib and couldn't go on any further. That's all. I know the, I know the pain he goes through. If I had to give in, this guy didn't even care. The broken jaw where you're getting hit much more often. Tremendous stuff. I suppose the question is whether or not uh, Arthur Abraham, who has looked like a fighter in decline in his last uh, couple of fights against uh, Shihepo and against De Carolis, the uh, African fighter and then the Italian. He has looked like a fighter in decline, but sometimes, you know, somebody who's fought at his level, and he has been an elite-level fighter for, what, eight, eight, nine years, eight, well, seven, eight years, anyway. He's been an elite-level fighter. Maybe he's still got that one terrific performance left, maybe. It's always possible, but I never, I don't think he's ever been the force of super, middle, of super middleweight as he was as a middleweight. I think with Stieglitz, who's a massively underrated fighter, he really is at this le at this highest level. People tend to think he's the easy touch. I don't think he is. For me, I think Stieglitz has to be a massive favourite in this fight. Well, he is the odds-on favourite, not quite as overwhelmingly as you might have thought. You can get seven to four against him winning inside the distance. Personally, I think this fight is likely to go long because I, you know, I don't think Abraham, in all probability, is not going to get busted up and have his eye go again like he did in the last fight. And that being the case, Abraham's certainly, at very least, going to want to go out his, on his shield. And there's huge money at stake here as well. The purse bid from Ulf Stainforth was 3.135 million, which means that Stieglitz is taking 2.35 million dollars. Unbelievable, isn't it? it? Really is. It's just tr it, like you said this earlier on. It's, it's life-changing money for one fight. Yeah, people Something say else. people say boxing's struggling. You know, over in uh, over here in Germany, it is it is <coughs> most definitely not. It's uh, huge, huge audiences on television, sell out, sold out arenas such as this one, and massive financial gains to be had. And also, why would you want to go? Why would Stieglitz ever want to go to America if he's getting this sort of money to box at home? You would never leave it. You'd never leave Germany. You'd never ever leave home. Well, there's certainly uh, certainly more big fights for the winner of this one down the line. I'm sure that uh, the likes of uh, Carl Froch and George Groves and maybe even James De Gale keeping a, a watch on this because it's options for them. Well, I, th I think you know the super move, super move division has been tremendous for a few years now, and just when you think maybe some of those fighters getting to the end of their their, their phenomenal careers, you have got all these new ones coming through, and like like James De Gale is is on is, is really come to the forefront now. I think obviously George Groves has proved he is where he, he belongs, and some other guys in America as well coming up. And it, Stieglitz, I think even though he's, he's not a, he's not a baby, he's not a young young man. He's still only 30, 32 in super move division. He still looks fresh to me. And in his 13th world title fight, yes, yeah, his 50th. It's his 50th fight tonight, you know. It's unbelievable. And he's, isn't in, it? And he's still in terrific nick. He does still look a, a very fresh fighter. And uh, a lot's made of uh, Arthur Abraham's experience. How many defences has he had? You know, world title fights are plenty. By my reckoning, this is uh, Stieglitz's 13th world title fight. It's something else, isn't it? it? Really is phenomenal stuff. Well, here we go. The lights are dipped. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the party started! Calling the red corner at a time, making his way to the ring. From Berlin, Germany, the two-time champion 
of the world, that challenger, King Arthur Abraham! Well, if you recognize the face, recognize the voice, no surprise there, because that is Russ Bray, who's more normally known as one of our top darts referees and announcers. You'll be hearing him on the Premier League and on the major championships, going around the PDC circuit, but also now making a name for himself as a master of ceremonies. Well, here is the big setup for Arthur Abraham. Now 34 years old, King Arthur. These entrances, this has been played out on a giant screen. And here is Abraham live. With Uli Wegner, his trainer. And coming into the sounds of Eye of the Tiger. We've heard this one for a few entrances over the years. You know what though, John, this could possibly be the most important fight of Abraham's life because if he doesn't win this fight on this world level, where does he go? Well, there was some talk of him packing in, you know, before when he got beaten by Stieglitz first time around. But I guess when you're picking up the better part of $800,000, it's a big persuader. There's Marco Hook at ringside. Kala Sauerland alongside him. Abraham, his problem, I always thought, as he moved up to super middle, was that physically, although he's got that terrific shoulder and chest expanse, five foot nine, he's just not quite big enough. I think you get that with a lot of guys. You, you know, his strength is his strength, isn't it? It's his physical strength and his, and his endurance. But when you move up in weight, you know, they're, they're naturally physically bigger than you, so that physical strength you can exert and you can bully yourself under fighters. Well, he's been there for so long. Ten defences of his IBF middleweight title. Now here, trying to regain the WBO super middleweight crown. And now, call in the blue corner, making his entrance to the ring from Magdeburg, Germany! The WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Robert Stiegler! Stieglitz's WBO belt. First held that title back in 2009 when he beat Caroly Baltsai. Six successful defences before being beaten by Arthur Abraham first time round in Berlin. And then regaining the title brilliantly. And a couple of defences since then. Yuzo Kyoto and Isaac Ekpo and now here with the rubber match against Abraham on home territory as well he'll get a terrific reception from the crowd certainly don't undersell their fights no it's, it's really show, showman stuff isn't it it's a big big occasion for these guys over here they'll get the boxes home in a big arena It's a very, very important fight for both guys, but Stieglitz, you have to feel, is going to be the favourite coming in, and Abraham can never be written off. Saw Robert Krasnicki in his dressing room earlier on. Old uh, Nathan Cleverly opponents, maybe he'll be coming in somewhere in that entourage. And I remember when he fought Nathan, it, Robert Stieglitz was there as well. He was, I got to speak to Robert. His, his, German, his, German, his English is not very good, 
but he had a translator with him just saying how, how, how much I enjoy watching his fights. I think he told me to go away. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he thought your English was very good. <laughs> right, the stage is set. Take it away, Mr. Bray. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we honour the fighters with a national anthem. Please be upstanding, gentlemen, remove your hats. The national anthem of Germany. Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit für das deutsche Vaterland. Danach lasst uns alle streben, brüderlich mit Herz und Hand. Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit sind des Glückes unterwand. Blüh im Glanze dieses Glückes, blühe deutsches Vaterland. Blüh im Glanze dieses Glückes. Blühe deutsches Vaterland. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of the evening. SES Boxing, an ergo concept proudly present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the BDB supervisor Jean-Marcel Nart. The World Boxing Organization, President and Supervisor in attendance, Francisco Valcarcel. At ringside, your three scoring judges from the USA, Michael Pernick and Dr. Clark San Martino. And from the United Kingdom, Mr. Paul Thomas. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, from the USA, Gennaro Rodriguez. Introducing to you first, fighting out the red corner, wearing white trunks trimmed in gold. He officially weighed in at 76.2 kilos. His professional fight record, 42 fights, 38 victories, 40 feats, 28 wins, coming my way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from Berlin, Germany, the challenger, King Arthur Emperor. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out the blue corner, wearing the red trunks trimmed in white, officially weighed in at 76.2 kilos. His professional record, 49 fights, 46 victories, with only three defeats and 26 wins by way of knockout. From Magdeburg, Germany, the WBO. Super middleweight champion of the world, Robert Stiglitz. And now for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to fight. Okay, look at your instructions. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck.
So the stage is set, the big rubber match. Stieglitz, the champion, the favourite. Abraham, the old champion. I have to say, when those uh, introductions were being made, he may be, uh, may be 34, Abraham, but he certainly facially, physically looks every year of his age. He's got a few miles on the clock now, but can he roll back the pages for one more terrific performance? Stieglitz just blitzed him last time out. Will he gamble? Will he try to do the same again? Well, he looks like he's gone, he's come straight at Abraham again. I thought the first, in the, in the second fight when he did this, I thought it, was, it wasn't a smart tactic, but it worked. And he's going for it again, trying to keep Abraham on the back foot. Andre Ward, Durrell, they're the three men other than Stieglitz who've beaten Abraham in this long career. And often he's had a struggle against fighters who are able to just jab and move. Stieglitz has kind of torn up that blueprint. He just blitzed him last time out. And the feeling is and the suspicion is in the opening stanza here that he might be trying to do the same again. Well, Abraham's never been the hardest fighter to hit, has he? <laughs> Good bit of football there though from Abraham, wasn't it? Making, a, making Stieglitz miss by miles. <laughs> Gennaro Rodriguez, very experienced referee. He'll, I'm sure, do a good job here tonight. A lot of support in this Magdeburg G Tech arena for Stieglitz. It's his home territory, Russian born, but now this is his city, this is his crowd. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Come back. I think Stieglitz is getting a little bit too close. He's so eager to get to get onto Abraham. But he wants to let go with that right hand, doesn't he? But he's just getting a little bit too close. He's a little bit too over eager. It was Abraham's left eye which swelled up so dramatically in the last fight. March last year, that was. It seemed like a year ago, doesn't yeah, it? Not at all, really, does it? Abraham has always tended to fight in, in bursts. Never, never one to fight three minutes of a round. Produces usually eye catching flurries around about this stage of the round. Oh, good shot from Stieglitz. Two landed simultaneously, and the more authoritative punch was the right hand of Stieglitz's. Oh, good right hand there from Abraham. I'm just surprised how many punches Stieglitz is taking going forwards, though. He's taking too many more than he did in the last fight. It's a little bit over eager, I feel. I think Abraham boxing quite well off the back foot. Well, Abraham up on his toes and showing plenty of mobility in that opening round, and an interesting opening round. Yeah, it really was. I think you know you thought Stegas would have allowed Abraham to maybe come at him, but trying to pick him off, but he did what he did in the last fight and jumped right on him. I, I think maybe just edge Stieglitz just I think for the going forward and a little bit of the higher work rate, but it was a close one. Abraham picked him off in stages there. Let him some good shots. Stieglitz looking to make the fights, looking to force the pace, be seen as the aggressor. But as you said, there's some decent counter punching. This is the Stieglitz corner. So he graze around the left hand side, the bridge of his nose. He has got the features that can mark up. I remember in the first fight, he yeah. got marked up around both eyes, didn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he marks up quite, quite easy, doesn't he? That's why it was a shock with Abraham in the last fight, in the second fight. First time Abraham's ever really been injured in that way, at least that I can remember. Good jab there from Abraham. He looks sharp, doesn't he, tonight, the old fella? The old champion, I should say. Yeah. 34 is hardly an old fella, is he? No, not at all. Not by my standards, anyway. Go, go, 
again Abraham landing with the jab there Stegas trying to land with the left hook but again he's just too over eager uh, Stegas he's like he's almost forgotten about defensive work I think he wants to make Abraham work for every minute of every round something he's not used to doing jab as he came in trying to force the pace and what you can certainly say at this stage is that Stieglitz has not been able to dominate these early stages as he did last time out no he's been a little bit crude hasn't he Stieglitz a little bit over anxious maybe just sort of wanting to go in there and wanting it just that wee bit too yeah, much possibly and Abraham keeping the cool head and I feel just for me at the moment in this round, just picking him off slightly. Again, Stieglitz missing a little bit embarrassingly with that big swing of the left hand. Oh, that's nice from Abraham. Look at the punch speed there. That's a flash of the Abraham. Oh, oh that's a good right hand. Cracking right hand. Nice little one-two there from Abraham. Right through the through the guard of Stieglitz. Well, good hand speed there from Abraham. Certainly something we've not seen for a while. Again, something that we spoke of earlier in the night, injection of pace, wasn't it, from Abraham? Just changing the tempo of the fight all of a sudden. Steve is just caught on a ways. Good jab again from Abraham. And using good footwork once more, and a little smile as much as to say, you thought I was a static fighter, here's a little bit of something you weren't expecting. Stieglitz there, getting in with his own right hand. Yeah, good right hand there on there from Stieglitz, catching Abraham on top of the head. Another interesting round. And Stieglitz not able to dominate as he did last year. No, that's a round for Abraham for me. Cleaner work. Yeah, and and the clearer round. I think the first round was a was a anyone's round. I give it to Stieglitz, but that round for sure was for Abraham's work. Picked him off, and then a little flurry of punches landing with every one of those, maybe five or six punches. Now, what have we got there, Barry? Look at that. That might be a clash of heads, and look at that swelling above the left eye. And that, oh my word, that's coming up by the second. I hope that's not going to be one of those really alarming ones. It's just a, a little burst of, of speed there and combination work of, of Abraham. It's a good attack, that wasn't it? It's brilliant one. He threw the one-two, flurried with, the, with some hooks to the body, and then finished with the one-two on top. Must have been a clash of heads that's caused that. Yeah, but you, could he be that unlucky twice? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. He certainly doesn't deserve it to happen again. Good round, that last one for Abraham. Absolutely concur with your scoring of that, Barry. One apiece, and we go into the third. 12th round of the WBO super middleweight title at stake. We sense that the crowd is just waiting to burst into its own action in support of Stieglitz. If only he can put an attack together, and he's not really been able to find the target. No, he's, like I said, he's been a bit crude, over anxious, and he's just you know, reaching for the target. And obviously, you know, with his over eagerness to get close, he's getting too close. And that right hand's usually going over the top of the guard and right, the, right around the back of the head there and missing to the target altogether. And, and Abraham, which, 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 which really we would call the brawler, is becoming the boxer. Early stages, though, a fight which could have many a twist and a turn as it unfolds I just thought there was a, a likelihood this third one could go long and could really with both men in the latter stages being dragged right into the trenches it could become something pretty attritional yeah you would feel that the first fight was quite that wasn't it we real yeah, yeah. You know, two very very close fight back and forth Abraham again just able to slip the punch, get inside and hold on, and it's Stieglitz who gets the telling off, and you hear referee Rodriguez saying clearly, no more, no more, he's had his warning. 
That's what Stegas is looking for. He's looking for that right hand. He's looking to slip the jab of Abraham and land with that right hand over the top. Well, Abraham's aware of it, and Stieglitz hasn't, I don't think. Certainly, may, may have got the odd one. Ah, no, he can't do that. <laughs> he's not been able to. He's not been able to get through. Not with the right hands he'd want. No, and Abraham just catching him a nice little left right there as, as Stieglitz rushed in. Abraham able to tie Stieglitz up. Uh, that again, punching on the break this time, and uh, not for the first time. I think the referee's patience is being tested by Stieglitz. And he lands with a couple of shots there, Stieglitz. He's done all the forcing, but he's actually had no quality work, have he? And I just think he's... Well, he's, he's, just, uh, he's cramping, he's, he's, he's crowding his own, his own space, isn't he? He's too, too aggressive, isn't he? Too hyped up. Too wound up. Well, we saw uh, some of the pictures earlier on from the from the dressing room of Stieglitz, and he certainly looked really looked then really psyched up. And he was at that stage some 20 minutes, half an hour away from fight time. And there's Abraham showing that he's not going to be messed around. He's trying to demonstrate that he's a physically strong guy, and he will not be out brawled. Protests from the Stieglitz corner. Abraham gesticulates as much as to say, "Well, he started it." Yeah, I, I can't see what the, what the problem is, to be honest. Uh, Stieglitz was holding on to him, really, wasn't he? Stieglitz didn't do a deal there. No, I mean, I, I, is that another Abraham, another Abraham round? It is for me, John. I think Stieglitz forced the fight, but didn't actually land with any quality of punches. And, and for me, Abraham, again, landing with one twos, catching Stieglitz coming forwards. Well, they know the man at the moment isn't really delivering and uh, the game plan that 73-year-old Uli Wegner has worked out for Arthur Abraham at the moment, Abraham, to me, looks as though he's fighting a, a smart fight. Well, I just know he's had the fight brought to him, haven't he, Abraham? Stingers, their, their tactics to put the fight, make Abraham work for every minute of every round, which is not a bad tactic to have. But as you, you, the words you use, the overeager, that's what he is, Stingers, and he's, uh, he's spoiling and, and smothering his own work. And because he's so intent on trying to, trying to bully and make Abraham work, he's neglecting his defence coming forward and getting picked off. Dirk Zemps here in his corner. Stieglitz being told to throw punches in flurries, really let them go, but he's winding up and trying to really load up on every punch, and it, I don't think it's helping him at this stage. No, he telegraphed in a couple of those big wide hooks there, wasn't he? And a jab from Abraham. Stieglitz coming in and suddenly trying to work inside, but Abraham sufficiently long in the tooth just to tie him up and stop anything meaningful happening when he gets there. Well, even though no one's winning the wrong, no, Abraham for me is not winning the wrong by a massive margin, but he's the more relaxed of the two, and that's what Stieglitz corner should have been telling him, just you know, you've got to relax him, he's still come forward, still with, with intent, you've got to relax, he's too tense up, and you've seen it earlier on, Abraham threw a right hand, Stieglitz was half a second behind with a left hook counter. All our leading super middleweights, I would bet, will be watching this right now, and forming their own opinions some of whom have been with Abraham, or one of whom's been with Abraham, and the other's hoping that they will get the chance maybe somewhere down the line. Abraham again was cute to that rather crude lunge from Stieglitz and caught him with a little right-hand counter. He looks so much sharper than he has done in his recent fights. He's looked poor, hasn't he? Let's, let's be honest. Disinterested. Yeah, he's looked poor. That's better from Stieglitz, got in with the right hand at last. Corner, incidentally, has done a decent job with that swelling above the left eye of Abraham. Been working away with the ice pack between rounds and doesn't seem to have noticeably worsened. It's good from Abraham. And again, good footwork there from Abraham. It's not, not something you'd say very often. Stieglitz just looking a bit disorganised. Too wound up, I think. Being at home, you know, sometimes having a massive crowd behind you can can sometimes have the ad, they have the adverse effect. You try to look a little bit too hard to please the crowd. Well, he'll know he's the favourite. He's got the 
Massive payday. He's the champion. And he'll also be more aware than anybody that at this stage, coming towards the end of the fourth round, as the heads go banging in again, that it's not going his way. No, for me, again, it's another wrong for me that he's being outboxed. Man with a good right hand there, though. How the judges see it, of course, we will see. A couple of Americans, Michael Pernick, Clark San Martino, and Paul Thomas, the Derby man. Crowd loving it. Not a classic yet, Barry, but it's fascinating. And there's a bit of swelling there under that right eye of Stieglitz. And I think that's testimony to the accuracy and the sting of the jab of Arthur Abraham. Yeah, and also, just I just think with Stieglitz just looking, he's so intent on going forward again. He's just he's taking too many punches coming forward. I don't think he's not getting a hammer in, and it's a close fight. But for me, the last three rounds have been, been for Arthur Abraham. I think he's boxed well off the back foot. He's, you know, the pick, Stieglitz obviously comes forward and he's shown a little bit of a lifty footwork to get out of trouble. Uli Wagner has had so many of the prominent German champions and he's been the guiding voice in the corner of Arthur Abraham. And you could see it's written all over his face last time out. It almost hurt Wagner as much as Abraham himself to have come out of that world title contest against Stieglitz losing so badly. Well, yeah, I know he, to get beat by an injury, that's the worst thing, isn't it? It really is. But it was all done by Stieglitz, and you know, to be honest, he was phenomenal that night. Hasn't quite worked for him. He tried the same sort of tactic, but for me, it hasn't quite worked out for him so far. Not yet. That's better. Two yeah. right hands, one, two, from Stieglitz. Much better, wasn't it? Just not stepping in too much. Keeping a little bit of distance so we can get the, get the shots in. And straight away, the... Mini eruption of applause from a passionate home crowd. Partisan crowd. Another good jab from Stieglitz. I just wonder as he comes charging in again whether he might not be well employed just to get back and work a bit more behind the jab and just, just make it a bit more of a technical exercise for a while and get some composure. Well, what Stieglitz has to do is block the crowd out. He had a bit of success there, just a little bit more relaxed and the crowd got him hyped up again and now he's again he's smothering his own work that's good though good work one thing, we, one thing we've always said is about Stieglitz in the fights in which we've, we've watched him together Barry as well is that he does have a, a terrific engine doesn't he to use oh, one he of the truisms he will keep he will keep throwing punches for 12 rounds that he's there oh he's as fit as you like isn't he and he'll keep throwing all day and he and he got lots of good he's, you know, he got a lot of skill he's a good fighter he's a good all round fighter there's nothing exceptional, but everything good. The referee, I was just about to say, he needs to be having a word about the heads going in because Stieglitz is really going charging in. It's already caused one injury to Abraham, and you don't want to see another. Stieglitz almost landed with that right hand there, the slip There's and the, the jab. jab. There's the jab from Stieglitz. That's, of course, the reach advantage, clear reach advantage, Stieglitz. And he's not really been able to use it so far. Well, we're certainly having a better round. Not a classic, but it's fascinating, and it might still explode at any stage. It's that sort of a fight. That was better from Stieglitz, then, just previously, just, just a little faint before he came in. Oh. Well, I think that's the last warning. <laughs> he was dragging him down and punching, wasn't he? Holding, pulling him onto the punch. Close round, this one. And the old Abraham, he's heard the thump on the ring the last ten seconds, and it's his flurry which catches the eye in those closing seconds. Good round. Yeah, for me, I, I give that round to Stieglitz and get a bit more success. Just that the relax at the beginning of the round, came out nice and relaxed, and with a few combinations. Got a little bit tense with the crowd carried away a little bit, but then he goes, got his plan back into play a little bit, and then Abraham just finished strong with the round for Stieglitz. Adrenaline can work two ways, can't it? 
last time, last time, last time out, it worked in a really positive way for Stieglitz. Maybe when Abraham was the favourite this time, it seems to have almost worked in the other, exactly the other way. Sometimes you get so hyped up with the training that you rush your work, everything's working too fast for you. You think it'd, it'd be weird that you can't throw punches fast enough, but you rush your work, you've got to take a little half a second, less than half a second, a little bit of a gap, just to, just to absorb your, your surroundings and see what's going on, and set up your attacks. Now look at that right eye of Stieglitz, not closing, but badly marked up. Not affecting his vision in any sense, but testimony to the punches that Abraham has got through with, and the first attack comes from Stieglitz in this now round six. And it's Stieglitz trying to power on the pressure. There's solid punches as well, they are down the straight one two. Trying to bully Abraham around, Abraham just looking to cover up. I think Feeling he, the pace, isn't he? I think he felt that first right hand. The very first one on the on the road to the to the right of the camera. You know, Stieglitz has dominated the first part of this round. And Abraham, is he struggling to keep with him at this sort of pace, at this sort of intensity? Body shots, yeah. on it? Lovely yeah. left hook. It was just because he did a little movement before he came in. He's just charging this time. A little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a shimmy with the, with the feet and the shoulders, just to, just to shake it up. Just so Abraham didn't know where it was coming from. That's Abraham holding for me, that is. Looking for that big right hand over the top, Abraham. Really been able to detonate it so far, and a complaint from Stieglitz that one caught him around the back of the head. Abraham's jabbed well tonight. There's the right hand, which did get through. Oh, now it's starting to open up. This is what they paid their money to see. Good stuff in it, both swinging, both landing as well. Ooh, Abraham trying to set him up there for the big right hand. Just missed. Didn't miss that one though. Good finish of the round here from out there, Abraham. And after being under the cosh a little bit for the first two minutes. Jab from Abraham, solid left-hand lead. A lot of uh, holding from both sides, both vastly experienced and know every dodgy trick in the book between them. Have you scored that? I think Stieglitz better work in the first maybe half, half of the fight, two minutes of the round was enough for me to give him the round, but a good finish from, from Abraham and he needed it. So let me check where you've got here. We've got three rounds apiece on your card, Barry, at the halfway stage. Yeah, I just think Stieglitz fought his way back into the fight. That was the very beginning of the round, that was, John, that, that right hand. I think that that's just the one you thought. That's the one you thought had a bit of an effect. I think it did. I think it just went into a shell, didn't he, Abraham, for, the, for the about 40 seconds, 30, 40 seconds. He came back, it's a good right hand there from Abraham. Timed that really well there off the back foot. He's actually boxed quite well off the back foot, hasn't he, after Abraham? Surprisingly so. Yeah. <laughs> he's not usually, well, he's never been noted as sort of a back foot counterpunch, has he? The cl classical way of interpreting him is to put him into, into reverse gear and you've beaten him. Well, is it, well, even Carl Fox didn't try and put him in the back foot. Carl, no, he, he, Carl Fox did, well, boxed great, didn't he? And put it, but he went on the back foot himself. Yeah. So we're into the second half of the fight. Stieglitz starting round seven fast. Stieglitz, of course, in the red shorts.
current champion, the WBO super middleweight champion of the world. Abraham breathing heavy, but he always breathes heavy. He's just having to pace himself, a little nod of acknowledgement to somebody at ringside. As much as to say, yeah, I'm under a bit of pressure, but I know what I'm doing. This is going OK. Still very much in the mix of this fight. Oh, good left hook there from Abraham and again. Another. Again, Stieglitz just trying to bull forward there. Where's all the feints gone from the previous two rounds? A little right, shuffle of the feet. Right from word go, Barry. It just had that feeling tonight that, OK, Stieglitz might ultimately go on to win the fight, but Abraham's just looks that little bit looser, that little bit more relaxed. Stieglitz almost tense, almost just straining for it. That's better. Good right hand from Stieglitz. And the head's going close. Oh, that's lovely from Abraham. In and out with that right hand. This has been a slicker. Come on, come on, come on, let's hasn't it, this fight? Moves quite shows, well. Showing some good footwork. Oh, Look at that lovely. again. He's fancying it now. Two of them have landed heavy shots. There's another left hand from Abraham, which is serving him well in the seventh. Oh, excellent from Abraham once more, and Stieglitz all over the place as he holds on and tries to disrupt the rhythm of the challenger. I'm surprised Stieglitz can't see that left hook coming, but it's not a fast shot, is it? It's very long. Herbin shot almost, but Abraham hit him every time. Well, he's got that damage to the right eye, but oh, that's a terrific shot from Abraham, and an absolutely flush. That was no, that was well this guy. That looked like that was going to be a long left hook. This has shown Abraham little flashes here in the seventh round of Abraham right at his best. Good round. Oh. Box really well there, buddy. Box great. I, you know, what, I didn't think Abraham had this had a fight like this left in him. Well, I, uh, I hold my hands up because I think it was against Wilberforce Shehapo and then against De Carolis. I sort of virtually said, Abraham, he is not where he was, he's not the fighter he was, he's the faded force. Well, here, if he can keep this going, what he produced in that seventh round, if he fights like this right the way through to the finish, this is a good little period of pressure from Stieglitz, which they're showing. But if Abraham can keep going what he did in the second half of that round, then he's going to win this fight. Yeah, definitely. Well, it was the same as the last two rounds. Stieglitz has started off very fast, a lot of success in the early stages. Abraham coming back good in the second half of the round, but the difference is in, this, in that last round was Abraham started earlier and sustained it to the very end and that to me was a, was a clear round one of the clearest rounds for Arthur Abraham good fight I always did suspect this was going to be the fight of the weekend and I think that we are going to have a pretty fascinating and gripping five rounds because it certainly looks as though it could well go the distance this I thought it was going to be a very one-sided Stieglitz win I, I'm really shocked and really impressed with uh, Abraham's boxing Stieglitz with the crowd support that can uh, sometimes influence judges. I always thought. Yeah, of course, of course. Because every time you land with a shot, the crowd go crazy. You half land with a shot, the crowd still go crazy. But Abraham has been hugely popular as well for many a year in Germany, more in the Berlin area than uh, than here in Magdeburg. But he's had a terrific career and has huge respect. Good again, good. He's going looking for Stieglitz with that right hand and the greater accuracy and snap at this stage would appear to be in the work of Abraham. One round the back of the head. Stieglitz has corner man up onto the ring apron protesting. No point deduction. 
Jemski was not a happy boy. I've got to be honest, before that though, Stiglitz looked a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not saying he was hurt, but he didn't look quite right. Oh, he has taken a point. He's taken a point. Giving him time. Are you ready? And away we go once more. Right decision, harsh decision. I, I, yeah, a little bit harsh, I feel, but... Abraham had been having a, a good spell. A really good round. Just taken the rhythm, maybe, out of his work and perhaps just what Stieglitz needs to come forcing his way back in the closing stages. Perhaps needed the deduction to level the round up. Stieglitz going in with his head. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I was going to say that Stieglitz that time with the head. Payback time. Just sort of took the air out of uh, Abraham's tyres a little bit, didn't it, at that point? Nice right hand, short chopping right from Stieglitz. And the left hand as well, and Stieglitz getting the better of that exchange. Abraham trying to suck it up, trying to put the pressure on in the closing seconds of the round, but it was Stieglitz oh. who had the grandstand finish. He did, yeah, that, that was a round that I, I still would have given about Abraham. So, with a point deduction, and it's a 10-point must system, that would make it 10-9 to Stieglitz. Here's some of the action from that round. And that was the punch around the back of the head, and for that, he got the point deduction. And see straight away. Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> well, he was right up onto the case. the corner man. Shouldn't be Did doing that. No, but in some ways, he's doing his job. Worked, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Influence the referee. Yeah. So let me get it clear what you're saying here. You've given that round. You reckon Abraham won the round, but point deduction. So we've got that as a level round, yeah. But, but with the, it's, yeah, so I wouldn't give that to. So it's a level round. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just, uh, just keeping my, uh, just keeping my score cut tally. No, no, it can be a level round if it's a point deduction. Yeah, but if Abraham's won the round, anyway, let's concentrate on this. It it's a round to Stieglitz. Ten nine to Stieglitz. I got it. Okay. That's a good solid shot from Abraham. Right hand to the body. So you've got the fight level at this stage. With four rounds to go. I think it's that sort of fight, isn't it? But for me, Abraham boxing the, the better of the two. Stieg is doing most of the work. Ragged here. <laughs> Stieglitz, huge fighting willpower. He was tagged by a lovely right hand from Abraham as he came in. Lovely right hand, you're right. And again, the footwork of Abraham today has been really, really good. Now, what's he going to do with this? Oh, we're having a point off for it. Yep, point off for Stieglitz for holding. We can hear what the crowd make of that. <laughs> Can't say he's not been warned. And a good right hand left hook there from Arthur Abraham. <laughs> and a left hook. Yeah, doubled up beautifully there. He's, he, he can miss all night, can he, with that left hook? He's served him well. That's been his quality punch. Better from Stieglitz, a little bit of bounce in his step. A few more feints he needs coming forward. Stop, stop, stop. It's been a disappointing performance for me from Stieglitz. He's trying to win it by just sheer willpower, by fitness and by brute force, rather than by anything sort of technical. 
Well, I think he, he tried to do the tactics of, of, of the second fight and just go out there and try and you know, whirlwind his way into a win. Yeah, mug him, but it hasn't worked sometimes. You can get stuck in a rhythm as a fighter. It's hard to get out of it, and I think he's he's been a victim of that tonight. And perhaps, perhaps just a little bit surprised as the shoulder this time rocks back Abraham's head. Perhaps just a little surprised at the mobility that Abraham's produced. Yeah, he's, he's been very mobile, he boxed very well off the back foot at the Abraham. Head clash, and there's blood above the left ear of Abraham. Look at this from Abraham. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff in the closing stages. And I tell you what, Stieglitz felt the weight of those. Abraham celebrating like he knows that he can win this. He thinks he's on his way to victory. Well, he is. That's a 10 8 round for me for, for Arthur Abraham with the point deduction. Meine Damen und Herren, liebe Boxsportfreunde, die haben noch eine Drucksage zu machen. Und zwar der Gewinner des Mountainbikes ist Andreas Winetzka. Wohnt auf dem Zerbst. Bitte melden Sie sich. Geh immer schlagen, weißt du? Nicht so lange stehen, so lange wohl legen. Wenn dann geh richtig ran. Dann passiert nichts, okay? Alles klar. Stieglitz looks as though he's taken more, doesn't he? He's the more marked up of the two. He's been committed to his, to his tactics. Some lovely right-hand counter, that one from, from Abraham. He just hasn't been able to disguise his work going forward, Abraham. And, and with the head's been there all the time. You know, he hasn't got any angles in his work. He's just been for, forward and back in straight lines. And Abraham, with his big right hands and those long left hooks, has, has had plenty of success. So that goes down as a 10-8 round for Abraham. You've got him a couple of points ahead now as we move into the 10th. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Listen, Stieglitz has pushed the fight from round one. You've got to give him his credit for that. Yeah, a lot of the rounds, a lot of the rounds were close. Damage around the ear of uh, the ear of the champion. Not fighting like a champion now, is he? No, He's fighting no. with a bit of a desperation about him. Well, I think he's showing a champion's grit and determination for sure, but the the skill level that he's had that we've seen in the past is not too evident here tonight. Yeah, lovely shot there. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> Abraham looking across to his corner and saying, Yeah, he got through, but I'm all right, I'm all right, don't worry. Abraham keeping that tight defense. Uh, too happy about Stieglitz boring in with his head. No, he's done it quite often, hasn't he, as well? A really rough fight. A lot of holding and mauling. A lot of fouls. I was quite pleased when I saw Gennaro Rodriguez as the referee for this one because I always suspected it was going to be a bit of a, a bit yeah. of a grueling one and not a particularly pretty one. <laughs> Good jab, but a nice little right hand counter there. Short right hand counter from Stieglitz. Sloppy bit of work there from Stieglitz and getting, getting countered then from Abraham. Well, wherever you're watching this one, you'll have your idea as to who's winning it. Good exchange of punches there. Nice little one-two from Abraham, but then Stieglitz getting in with his own right hand. Tough, hard fight. And again with Abraham with a nice little uh, left-right counter. When they're old and grey, these two are going to remember each other forever. So, last few seconds of the 10th. That's right hand from Abraham. Again, the heads clash. A good left hook to finish the round there from Stieglitz. But for me, in a, in a very close round, I just favoured Abraham's cleaner work. What a hard round, though. You, you put your... Put your 
put your colours to the Abraham win there on that round, but if it had gone the other way, you couldn't really be surprised. It certainly could. That was the sort of round which could have gone either way, and Stieglitz, with that big left hook, caught the eye on the last big, last big, last big shot of the round. Listen, that very well could happen. For me, I just feel it was a very close round, and I just think some of those long left rights of Abraham might be the punches that stand out. Well, Abraham fighting like a man who believes that he's getting there now. And he's fighting like a man who had nowhere else to go. And we spoke of this before the fight, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. This is the last chance to lose at the field for him at, at, this, at this elite level. Two rounds to go. And all these fights, they're all dreaming of a, another Frotz fight, a Ward fight. <laughs> They're all dreaming of these big names, these big purses, and, and that's, that's what's at stake, at stake. Abraham not doing too shabbily on this occasion financially, although he's had much bigger rewards in the past, but he's getting close on $800,000 as the short end of the purse. As I said earlier, Stieglitz getting $2.35 million. <laughs> Good start to the round, though, again from Stevens. He always seems to start the faster of the two. Abraham just trying to keep a close, tight defence, which he's yeah. done fairly effectively. That, that right hand does get through from Stieglitz. Just exploded onto that, didn't he, on the little crouch stance. Stieglitz just standing in front of, when he first he throws his combination, just standing in front of Abraham, just needs to take a little shift to the side. Camera shot from the corner, giving you a real close-up idea of what it's, or give you a feeling of what it's actually like to be in there. This stage of this fight, which has had its twists and turns, and now Abraham starting to come on strong again here in the 11th. Shot from Stieglitz this time, and the crowd respond to that. Tremendous one. I, I honestly think that when Abraham was turning, I think he might just took the sting ever so slightly out of the punch. Just but, as well. But a really cracking shot, yeah. Stieglitz is now fighting on real desire, trying to get motivated by this terrific support that he's got. I think the crowd has worked against him tonight for Stieglitz. I think he's been over, over eager. Smothered some of his work. Oh, oh, forgot his defence. That's the most important part. He's just he's pulled forward without a, without a care of what's coming his way. Abraham trying to pick quality shots then in the last minute of this 11th round. Oh, it's a good right hand from Abraham. And then back comes Stieglitz. And just for a moment, Abraham looks as though he's unsteady, but I think just caught off balance as much as anything else. What an exchange. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Looks tired though, doesn't he, Steve Litz? Good combination again from Abraham. Steve Litz going in with the head. Two desperately tired men. Is Stieglitz going to surrender this title once more to his greatest rival, Arthur Abraham? Or is the, or are the judges going to see it the other way? Have you scored that one, Barry? Oh, Do you know what? For, for the first half of the, of the, of the round, you just thought it's a Stieglitz round, and then all the quality comes from Abraham again. And I just, for me, I just feel that. Again, it's another round that I think he took. Well, on your card, you've got Abraham cantering away here. And with the sort of lead which is unlikely to be overturned, that's a good right hand from Stieglitz. That was the one where he said he was turning away. Yeah, yeah, he just took the sting over, didn't he? And then because he's fighting his straight lines, he just allows Abraham back into the fight. And then Abraham, you know, doing that clever, that last 30 seconds thing, that Sugary Leonard thing that he's doing so great. Yeah, before, uh, before people start jumping in saying, you got it wrong in case the judges go for Stieglitz we have let me remind you all along said there are a lot of rounds here which have been difficult to score they've been very very close it's that sort of fight I wouldn't be surprised if it's a split decision Barry it's been, 
either way, it's been a really we've got, good fight. We've got Abraham ahead, but Stieglitz, he's had his moments in every round and he has fought as the aggressor for much of the fight. He has, he's, he has fought the aggressor. You've got to stand by what you believe, haven't you? I just think he's taking too many punches coming forward. He starts the round off fast and he has the last few rounds. And then just faltered in the last sort of 30 seconds and that knockdown in the ninth round or that point deduction in the ninth point round. Deduction, yeah. There might be a big difference. Yeah, how much is oh, that good going right to hand there from effect. Abraham? I got, I got, stop, stop. Yeah, the referee deserves a medal tonight. <laughs> Stieglitz landing the more punches so far in this final round. Looking for the clean shot. Abraham just covering up. First minute conclusively to the champion of round again. 12. It's going towards script, isn't it? The last few rounds again. Steve is doing all the work in the first half of the, of the round. Oh, good shot, right hand from Stieglitz. Yeah, Abraham didn't ride that shot, did he? He certainly didn't. And Stieglitz is winning this last round. Oh, good. No, I'm that, winning it widely, Barry. That's a, no, that's a champion right there, isn't it? Gritting your teeth when, you, when you've got no energy left and throwing a five-six punch combination. It's this sort of desire and willpower of two men, two gladiators that draws people to boxing. When people say, why do you like boxing? Well, this <laughs> is the kind of reason why. Oh, he's unsteady on his oh. feet, Stieglitz. He's almost out. He was caught by that shot from Abraham as he came in the uppercut. And another big right hand from Abraham. Oh. Stieglitz is in real and he's down and out. And that surely has decided this fight. Stieglitz gave everything in the onslaught in the early stages of the 12th. And it's... Is he allowing it to continue? He is, box on. Stieglitz is absolutely all in here. And Abraham is looking to finish it here in the closing seconds of this 12th round. Stieglitz somehow, somehow gets through to the final bell. What a fight and what a performance from both men. Both congratulated by their corner. But Arthur Abraham tonight has produced a performance which I thought he was no longer capable of achieving. Stieglitz had a champion's resolve and determination in that 12th round, but he almost punched himself into oblivion and ultimately put down by Abraham. And that, for me, has made, I think, sure that Abraham once more is the champion of the world. Abraham with his back against the wall, you wouldn't, bet, you wouldn't really bet anything on him coming on top in this fight, but he's, he's boxed tremendously on the back foot. And that left, that left uppercut in that round when he was getting worked over a little bit, wasn't he? He was getting well beat in that last round. That left uppercut changed the whole complexion of that last round. And the referee doing Stieglitz lots of favours. Well, what a fight, Barry. At times it wasn't pretty and there's a few boos and jeers for Abraham as he celebrates with his supporters. He's confident that he's done enough. And for me also, Abraham surely has achieved his oh, dream and won back this title. What a shot. To be fair to Stieglitz, I don't know how he stayed up on that, but he was all wobbly, wasn't he? And the right hand, he was already uh, a little bit confused and concussed probably before he got hit with those shots. What a tough, tough fight. It wasn't always a, something of beauty. It was but you, it was a hard man's fight. It was what you said earlier in the fight, where the war of attrition, and that's really what it was. Just, the, the, just it was just the will to win. But Stieglitz's will to win, for me, made his tactics a little bit naive. He didn't use his boxing ability, just tried to use his brute strength, and, and on my card, came second best. Well, however long they're around, after this, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, they're going to hold each other and embrace when they see each other because 
They're going to be bonded by this. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is a bond that, that will never go away. They remember this uh, for, for the, well, the ball that fights. These, this trilogy will always be remembered. Well, for, I hope you've enjoyed two. this with us as much as we've enjoyed watching this. It has been a terrific fight. And Abraham, look at that. His career absolutely on the line here tonight. We asked the question, could he roll back the years? Well, didn't he provide the answer? Oh, he really did, didn't he? And a lot, of the, a lot of rounds were close, even the rounds he, no, he was winning. No, even the rounds he won clear were close. Even that last round where he, where he, put, where he put Stieglitz down, was, was, he was getting beat, wasn't he? He was getting right, he was getting turned over a little bit. But that left uppercut there, look at that. Stieglitz again. No regards to his defence. Well, and who would have thought beforehand? I mean, this, we, we, we're here assuming that Arthur Abraham has won this fight with this 12th round knockdown. But who beforehand would have thought... This is going to go the distance, and it's going to be Abraham who's going to be the stronger and the fitter and the faster and the more accurate at landing the bigger shots in the last four rounds. That's what's happened, Barry. It's unbelievable. I never thought... I thought Abraham was going to get outpointed, by massively outpointed, in, in, in not, a, not a great fight, a good fight, but not a great fight. And I thought Steve was going to use his brain and his boxing ability and, and coast his way and easily pick off at Arthur Abraham, who's looked clumbersome and slow in his last few fights but didn't he turn back the clock and then some well the big pro Stieglitz crowd is hoping they're just hoping that somehow the judges have seen it for their favorite and that all those close rounds have gone to Stieglitz and that he had enough of a lead to withstand the pressure in the last few rounds that Arthur Abraham was able to impart eventually with that 12th round knockdown three judges two americans one british he's got the body language of a winner though hasn't he king david i think i don't i think it'd be you feel hard done but i don't think it's going to be as wide as i have it i think it'll be a closer a closer score but i honestly think i don't think you could dispute the winner maybe i i, no, I think uh, abraham's won it yeah arthur's do. done it King Arthur, I should have said. Camp David, he's got around his uh, around his waist. Good fight, though, John. Really good fight. Excellent, excellent. You got it by a margin of about. Uh, yeah, I got it by six. I got it a massive margin. I really have. I think I got it as a too big a margin. To be honest, it seems it seems ridiculous. So as as close that fight was, I got it by six points to uh, to Arthur Abraham. And that seems a, that seems a way too wide, but that's always good. Well, if you've watched that fight tonight with us, good decision. That was uh, one of one of ones for Box Nation fans and for all fight fans to really savour. Here we go. Of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard, and we have a split decision. Well, well. Judge Michael Pernick scores about 113, 112. Stieglitz. <laughs> Judge Paul Thomas scores about 110, 115. Abraham. <laughs> Judge Clark Samartino scores about 111, 114, for the new WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World! Well, justice done, Barry. You could see Abraham was fearing the worst. He was fearing the worst when that first judge's card was read out. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? I, you know, the right man won. I, I know I said I think it was a bit closer than I had it, but actually the judges won too far off my my scorecard. But well, you had it 116, 110, didn't did, you? So yeah. you so you're up there with Paul Thomas, 115, 110, 114, 111. I find it hard to see how you could really score that fight for Stieglitz with what happened in the closing rounds. Be desperately disappointed, the home favourite Abraham being chaired around the ring, a moment of celebration. And we've been very critical of him in previous fights over the last year or so. Tonight, he showed something very special and justifiably the new champion.
and Robert Stieglitz just having to think, oh dear, not for me.